I'm Todd Grisham. There's no other venue like it. Welcome inside the Grand Theater. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He stands an imposing six. The Gypsy King himself, Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber. His fight against Matt Schmeling, one of the most important fights in the history of this fine sport. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Manchester and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Fighting out of the blue corner, an iconic longtime world champion who defended his title for a record of 12 years, introducing a heavyweight champion of the world, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. All the seats have been taken in this unique setting. What an event it will be here tonight. Todd, one of a kind. Yes, it is. You get fighters that know exactly what they want. They're driven. They're ambitious. And that makes a perfect machine. So much hype surrounding this fight. And now it is go time. They ring the bell and here we go. And this with that jab. Jab doesn't find a home. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. You'll find to the counter puncher you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. Looking to land the hook. Smart move to grab a hold of your opponent, but obviously you can't do that too often. You've got to save that in the back because if you ever hit and hurt, a clinch will save your life. You've got to hold on, clear your head, step off again, push them, hold them, lean them down. So when you're going to use those clinches, do it on the blind side of the referee, then let go. you got to like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. Well, we knew this was going to happen. Some taunting. Oh, and he caught him there with a the right hook. Good one. The scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. 
Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Counterpunch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counterpuncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. The exchange punches. Good one. Perfect counter lands. Trying to fight like Roy Jones Jr. now, bouncing on the toes. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Wasn't ready for that counter punch. This is a high octane battle. Here he is bouncing on his toes, trying to get some energy. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Beautiful counter punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. So and there's the bell to start the round. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. to see that again some amazing boxing right there i need to see that again Beats the count and will continue. What bravery being shown here. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. And boom. Back in the same spot again. It happened once. You've got away with it. You can do it again. Pretty good start the first half of this round. Perfect game plan. The thing is, can anybody figure out what to do to change this? It's a perfect start. And that hook misses. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. Why does he continue to hold the referee can take a point here? There's a tactic to clinching. When you clinch, you're taking someone out of their pace. You're making them feel uncomfortable. It's something they're not used to. But it's a fashion of clinch as well. You can be a dirty clinch. Nice veteran move here to hold. So we enter the final 10 seconds here in a pretty dominant display. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw. You're being put down. You've got to think right. Survive and then give... And there's the bell to start the round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff him. 
a perfect counter shot. These two featherweights are gonna let their hands go, you know that. This is why I love the little guys. This is exactly why I love them. Look at them, toe to toe, heart for heart. You know, mano on mano, they're letting the shots go. He's dominating him, and he's going to let him know all about it. <laughs> Cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one... And now going for the finish. see that again some amazing boxing right there shot from the gods they say a shot from the gods But is this the beginning of the end? The corner needs to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight's capable of doing. And what their final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. So it's plan B time after... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. Hey, those punches add up. You don't see a lot of welterweights that can bring you one-punch KO power, but are we about to see a first-round knockout? The Brown Bomber couldn't take any more. Imagine seeing this punch coming and not being able to do anything about it. That's lights out right there. would have predicted it but we've got a knockout victory a knockout victory that is god did you see the shot that's not a knockout that's an assassination what a shot 